35 million for Dak. There's two reasons it concerns me. One, his entire career. He's had a top three offensive line and a top two running back in the league and above average weapons. I've never seen him struggle. Oh, wait, I have. Tyron Smith got hurt. He was terrible. Gonna launch it. Going deep down the field. And it's caught for the touchdown. Zeke was out. He wasn't very good. Prescott. And one on one. Goes to Cooper for the touchdown. What a throw. Pre Amari Cooper. Not special. Our time, JJ Watt. He gets away from him, puts a hand down. Under pressure, escapes again, takes it and throws it as far as he can down the field. The times I've seen him not have everything right in support, he has struggled. Prescott got a carry. And reach, flip, sets up first and goal. He's driving down the field. It looks like they're going to at least score the touchdown and then the two-point conversion. Who knows? Then we'll see what happens. And he was inaccurate as he'd been throughout. Thinking Dak would be great anywhere, y'all are crazy. Okay? Thinking Dak would be great anywhere is crazy. Dak Prescott deserves better than this. He just finished throwing for 4,900 yards, 30 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, and completed 65% of his passes. In his four years as a starter, he has never missed a game. Okay? It was back page news when he missed a practice. He's completed at least 65% of his passes in three of the four years that he has been there. Okay, there are a plethora of things that you can point to that are problematic for the Cowboys. Leadership for one, coaching another, what was happening on the defensive side of the ball another, whether it was Jason Garrett or Kellen Moore, the list went on and on. There were so many things to point to other than Dak Prescott. There is nothing else Dak Prescott needs to do to prove that he should be in the highest paid market in football. His record as a starter is 40 and 24. This year when they were eight and eight was his first non-winning season of his career. And by the way, that same season, he passed for 4,900 plus yards, nearly 5,000 yards. Okay? He's second in, so, the, in so all the league I'm, in passing All I'm yards. trying to say is this. It ain't just about football, particularly when it's the quarterback. It's about dependability, reliability, accountability, leadership, all of these things come into play. This is what they tell us. We ain't paying you just to throw. We're paying you for all of this other ancillary stuff. Dak Prescott has been the epitome of perfection in every other way. Throwing the football, there's stuff to be desired, but it still didn't stop him from throwing for nearly 5,000 yards. All I'm trying to say is that when you look at all the things that go into not just being a quarterback, not just being a quarterback in the NFL, but being the face of the Dallas Cowboys. When you look at that, to sit up here and to have this man waiting when Jared Goff got paid and Carson Wentz got paid. Oh, by the way, I'm proud of my brother Jalen Smith that you paid him, but he ain't the quarterback, okay? You paid him to do this to Dak Prescott, to do this to him is criminal. Okay, you it's just criminal. Paid.